TR Rehab back with another video. The other day I posted some pictures of my garden and some of the changes I was making in preparation for the fall weather approaching. I grow most of my plants from seeds and one thing I have learned since I started this gardening thing this year, insects love brassicas. That's your cabbages, your kales, your broccoli, your cauliflower. They would just swarm on them as soon as you put the seedlings out. Insect netting is nothing new, but what I'm trying to do is stay in sync with the aesthetics of what I already have going on with my raised beds. And when it comes to protecting your seedlings, I think it's kind of neat the way this little project turned out. Stick around and I'm going to show you how I put it together. What I started with is just some 36 inch garden fencing. This particular one has the two by three rectangles and we're gonna count off 21 links going in the two inch direction. We're gonna cut halfway into the rectangle after link 21. And then we're gonna go down in the three inch direction, six links, and then we're gonna do the same thing at the bottom. But here, we're gonna leave three quarters of a length. And the reason why we're doing that is because we need something to be able to stake into the ground. We're gonna use that half link after 21 to lock our circle together. Keeping in mind that we'll be sliding our netting over the cage, so we wanna make sure that all sharp points are to the inside of the cage and facing downward, because even with that, we don't wanna cause any damage to our seedlings as they start to grow within the cage. For the most part, I'm able to bend the wires with my fingers, but it might not hurt to have a pair of plows on hand for this job. Before I go any further, I want to say thanks to everyone who's been supporting my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please do and give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Now remember, we're gonna cut this going six down in the three inch direction, leaving three quarters of a link at the bottom so that we can stake it in our garden bed. Once we have the two cages separated, we want to take the top ends, fold them over again to the inside because we don't want the jagged edges being able to puncture our netting when we slide it over on top. And there we have it insect cage ready to protect our seedlings. Before we install them, we want to take one last inspection, making sure that there are no insects trapped inside. Once again, I want to thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not, and give it a thumbs up if you like this video. TR Rehab.